Well, hi everyone, welcome along to this video on how to remove an ingrown toenail. So firstly, we need to go into a bit of theory about the toe. So you can see here, I've drawn a schematic of the big toe. Uh, this is the toe here. And the toenail is this green bit here. Now what actually causes an ingrown toenail, if you're unfamiliar with it, is that the toenail grows and it goes down into the skin here on the edge of the toe and that uh, eventually cuts into the skin and it can be very very painful. Okay so you might be wondering what the cause of an ingrown toenail is. Well there are really two causes. The first one is your shoes. Um, if you've got shoes like this then what happens is it, it tends to push up the skin from beneath and you get this sort of thing happening here. Um, it tends to go a little bit higher up there and this tends to be a little bit higher here as well. Um, just as you're pushing up from below and you might find after a couple of months of wearing a particular kind of shoe your uh, toenails start to ache. The second thing is a bad shape of how you cut the toenail can cause this thing here to dig in. So what I'm going to show you today is how to cut your toenail so that that doesn't ever dig in. So what I've got here is an expanded schematic of the big toe and I've pushed this up a little bit, I'm imagining you're wearing uncomfortable shoes and you can see here how the toenail is starting to dig into the skin there. So what most people on the internet say is that if you cut your toenails too short um, you increase the chances of having an ingrown toenail. It's, it's, now that's a half truth, the problem is the way the toenail is shaped. So let's say I keep cutting this shorter and shorter um, the problem is if I'm not cutting the stuff in underneath you tend to get this kind of shape here and then as it grows, let's imagine it grows a little bit further, uh, it digs in more and more and more into the skin. So really what you want to do, um, well normally you start growing your toenails out will start to help but really you want to cut it in such a way that as it grows it's not going to dig into the skin. So you want it to be shaped more like this. You see like a ski jump and then as it grows it's not going to be digging in here, it's actually going to push up. So this is what I mean, as the toenail grows out, if you cut it in the right way um, and as it grows it will push itself up and it will lift the toenail, the whole toenail itself up out of that groove. Right, so the next part of this video is to show you how to remove the ingrown toenail or how to cut your toes in such a way uh, that you never get an ingrown toenail to begin with. As you can see my toes are in pretty good condition and that's because I've been doing this for a few months now and it works really well. Right, so let's have a look at the right foot. Okay, you'll see this toenail is a little bit long um, and there's no problems in there at all. That's because I've been looking after it. Um, so what you want to do is you want to get your fingernail just under the edge there and you want to actually lift the toenail up and as you do so you can hold that skin on the edge down and what you'll see as I'm doing that is I'm actually exposing the very bottom of the toenail in there that's the bit that could dig into the skin um, so as you can see at the moment it's not too bad but if I need to trim that I can use some clippers uh, and shape that into that ski jump I was showing you before um, I tried this myself but I couldn't actually get the clippers in there so I actually just use my fingernail and I can get the fingernail if I lift this up that's the key is to pull it out of there uh, and then get your fingernail in right in underneath and I hope you can see that there I've got my fingernail in under the corner and then I can just start scraping away any bit that might be digging into the skin so make sure you lift it up and then just scrape away that little bit just right in the corner there until you get kind of a ski jump shape. Uh, if you really can't do this try and get a friend to do it for you um, just to cut into there. Um, the important thing is that you lift that toenail up so you get it out of that groove in there. Right so let's now have a look at the left foot. So this is the one that was really bad, it's still a little bit swollen there because it was so badly damaged. Um, this is probably more likely the kind of toe that you'll see if you've been having problems with it. You see how I've cut it quite short. And the danger is that when you cut it that short, 
uh, this little bit here can grow forward into the toenail. Now if you've got a really sore toe, you probably can't even touch it like that, it will be too painful. This toe was actually too painful to walk on. Um, but again, I'll use the same technique. I'll use my fingernail and I'll just get it under the edge there. And it'll be quite painful if you're doing this and it's, and it's really bad. Just hold that skin down and just lift that toenail up just a, a wee bit there. And then I can just get a little bit more on it. You see this one goes in quite deep. So I work my fingernail along until I can get right down in there. And just gently lift that up. And then you can start exposing the very bottom of the toenail there. You see that? Uh, now the idea again is to cut that in such a way that it will form that ski jump shape and grow out of that area, not dig in. So if you've got some clippers you can do that or a friend to help you. Um, and again what I do is I use my fingernail and I get right in underneath there. I lift up with one finger and use my other fingernail to get in under. And then I just scrape off that little bit that could dig in. Uh, so by doing that and maintaining that, I don't get any um, I don't get any ingrown toenails because it's got the wrong shape. It just naturally grows out of that area rather than digging in. So it's a bit hard to see that I know, but that's the basic technique. You've got to lift this up. To get access to that very bottom there you see uh, and then using some clippers or if you've got strong fingernails you can just scrape away at that so that it won't actually dig in again okay so there you see I've got a, uh, a big chunk of it there and by lifting that up I've got it right out of that area and it's not just on the top it's the bit of toenail that normally would be the bit that would grow into your into your skin so I can just pull that off now uh, and then if I want to I can trim that up properly with some clippers to make it look nice and neat. Uh, but you can see there now that there's no more stuff in the corner there. If you've got a really bad toe uh, and you've just done this to it, go wash all that out with some really hot water or some disinfectant to make sure it's nice and clean. And then over the next couple of days you might see a little bit of a scab forming just on the end there. And that's where the toenail used to dig in. So I thought I'd just show you this. Uh, this is that little bit of toenail I just got out. And you can see that along the edge here, um, it has that kind of scooping up ski jump shape to it. Um, previously it was poking down and it would dig into the skin. Um, now I've been taking care of them for a while and you can see how it, the shape has actually caused it to grow itself out of that area. Um, and that toenail hasn't been sore for months now because of that shape. Well that brings us to the end of the video. Let me know in the comments below how you got on with your toe. Otherwise I hope you found this helpful and we'll see you again soon. Bye!